Blessings, everyone. Today, I would like to do a reading from the Starseed Oracle. And this morning, there was the most beautiful resonance coming through that they kind of pulled me to do the throat chakra singing bowl for everyone to just clear out that space. And one of the messages that came very, very early this morning, in the wee hours of the morning, was about <clears throat> that a lot of times we are interacting with people and, and bringing through messages and sharing our knowledge. And they're asking our intergalactic family to be mindful of how we express these things to each other. That they are very mindful. That's why they don't just appear walking up the street. I mean, to some people. But for the most part, they try to give us the information with grace and in a way that our mental world can comprehend because some people would get overloaded with these things and they, and they don't want that. And so they're asking that when we're sharing things with each other, that we remember that some people are new to this journey and they're just exploring the ideas of things. And so to insult or belittle or make someone feel like they're just ignorant is not being mindful of how we express ourselves. We're given this information. We've done a lot of research on our own. And we, we want to share because we understand that lives are at stake sometimes. And this information is very sacred and very valuable. But our starseed ancestors are asking us just to make sure that when we're sharing, it comes from a place of compassion and love and be patient with those that have a lot of questions or maybe try to add things, um, theories of their own to something we're explaining because everybody has a different perception and perspective on things. And there really isn't a wrong or right to all of this. So that was a big message that came through this morning. First, I asked Source, to allow me to be in a meeting of light and I thank Source. And I ask our starseed family, the light beings and ancestors to please step forward and allow me to bring a message for the highest good. I'm just gonna shuffle the cards quick. I do three, one for spirit, one in honor of soul and one in honor of Source. Sometimes they ask a little extra if the cards are stuck together. So, and what I do is I just move the cards around after I shuffle. And if there's one or two cards that pull up out of the deck in a certain way or they fall out, then that's the cards that I take. Sometimes, um, okay, here's one. And this is We the Hathers, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth, as a portal. And so right away, they're bringing through my attention to the writing. And they're saying that a lot of us receive our messages in many different ways, whether uh, like myself, they're using as an example, I channel poetry. And there are quite a few artists that are able to draw out a light language. And there are many who speak what we say speaking in tongues is a certain type of resonance and sound that transcribes into a light language. And so this is something that they, they want us to understand that, that we don't have to always decode and decipher it, that our spirit, our higher self knows what this is, just being in the presence of it, whether it's looking at so someone's sketch of light language, or you're hearing someone with uh, the light codes coming through, speaking it on a video. It doesn't matter. We don't have to understand it, that it will be trans, excuse me, <clears throat> transcribed by our being. 
that it's just inherent in us. It's in our DNA and that understands. And so we just have to be open and receptive and let that movement of energy come through. And so they're asking me to, to read from the book. Please uh, bear with me with this. Sometimes it's a little bit, um, Thank you. Sorry about that. The, the way that the book is set up is a little bit, um, you have to go looking. Birth is a portal that ushers in new life. The Hathors are here to remind you that you're a child of the cosmic mother and you're being called to be held by her deep, never ending love and embrace. This is a tender nourishing card reminding you to receive the deep, deep love of mother's embrace. The Hathors know that the journey on earth can be rocky and lonely at times, but you're being reminded to rest more deeply in mother's arms. This is a card of extreme potency, of femininity, of creation, and of birth. You're being called to mother yourself and to others too. To surrender to your sacred femininity, to create and surrender to your own creations, to hold and be held. You're being called to remember your place in the web of life and to realize the cosmic mother is watching you every step of the way. You may be going through a transition right now, moving from one way of being to another. If so, you're being reminded that you're cradled in a sacred container, that you're more held than you can possibly imagine, and you have access to more love than your heart can bear. If you're struggling in any way, you're being reassured that things will work out open yourself to receiving the overflowing love of the cosmic mother flooding towards you from every direction. Let it stretch your heart. And they're saying that we're part of this family and it doesn't matter what intergalactic being that you, you started as whether it's blades or Orion, Aliran, Acturus, we're all a family here and we're all here bringing our piece of the puzzle and that there is one source. And so they're talking about that cosmic egg, that cosmic egg of creation, divine mother. It's also the cosmic mothers, the Sophia. That as we create and we hold the resonance of this, we are showing our spark of creator. We are mirroring the Godhead, the Omni. Because in creation, everything is always renewing. And from this place, we are showing that we are not separate, that we are that expanded awareness in a space of love interweave through everything. And they're saying it's, it's as simple as sitting quietly and listening, not just to our guides, the masters or the ancient ones, but to our higher wisdom we can unlock this that's encoded in our very being just by nurturing ourselves, feeling supported and creating. And it could be something as simple as a meal we make, just allowing that resonance. What do you feel pulled to? What is your body telling you that you need? And then create a beautiful dish and celebrate that, share it. Infuse it with love and light, your own light language. If you're sketching, hold that intention. Hold that love. That's creator just renewing through us. And so the message is very gentle today. 
They just want us to know that through all of this, as we share and reach out to each other, as we're speaking our truth, as I said earlier on the video, to know that we're here to bring the change. And this has been said many, many times, the age of Aquarius has come, the golden age. We know this. And even if it wasn't something that our mind wants to comprehend, our being knows this. And maybe we're waiting for this big miraculous shift. Maybe we're, we're thinking that it's gonna be something um, where all of a sudden now there's peace on earth. And our ancestors are saying that's not how it's created. One of the things that they really want us to do is center in this and be in our own resonance and shine that out. Because that's where it starts. We have to learn to embody and hold before we can share. And so I hope this message brings a little bit of peace today and encourages everybody to go out and be creative in any way and share it. Share it without any, any need to be famous or recognized because it's not about that. It's about your being, opening up in a space of love, recognizing it's not separate from everything else, resonating the brightest light and interconnecting with each other. It's just awakening that remembering and as you create and someone else is open to that energy and experiences it in whatever way they do, we have to release that attachment to how people interpret that, let them interpret it in their own way. They will create the ripples from that and it goes on and on and on and it's an, it is infinite as we are. So I thank you for allowing me to share this message with you. Many blessings. Much love, Starseed family.